Brandy again with the second part of my video. I was supposed to record after I had gotten done blow drying and straightening my hair to show you the end results last night. But the thing about that is I was procrastinating. So around the time yesterday that I recorded my first video was like 4 or 5 in the afternoon. I seriously did not get done straightening my hair until 12. Now, it didn't take from 5 to 12 to do my hair, but I was, like I said, procrastinating, had some dinner and stuff like that. Um, and so I didn't start straightening my hair till like around 10 or so, or maybe 9. And in between, still procrastinated, which thus led me to finish at 12. And I was ready to do a video, but I was like, I am too tired. And yeah, it, I think it was too late to talk in the house. So I figured just do it tomorrow and here I am. So it's the next day and this is the end result of my methods. Now, um, it's not as straight as it could be or I'd like it to be because of the fact that we're currently experiencing very, very, very humid weather right now. Like, I'll turn and show you guys. It's Harwell. So look at there. That's fog and gray clouds, I think. <laughs> I can't even distinguish the two anymore. Like, it's horrible. It's just sticky and yucky and just horrendous. And it's just, ugh. Made it worse is that I had gone to work this morning I work at the high school, like I said, and the ACs were off, so that was just not pleasant. But yes, if you straighten your hair, flat iron your hair, you know humidity is your worst enemy. So that's the one thing I loved about the mainland. There's like no humidity up there. It's dry. Perfect conditions for people that straighten their hair. And see, like I said, it's not as straight as it could be. But at the same time, it doesn't look too bad. But yeah, so this is my hair that's not treated. Um, like I said, I just washed it, shampoo and conditioner with the Matrix um, Total Results Sleek. And then I used the um, Agadir or Agadir Argan Oil and as well as the Pan Pantene Pro-V. Um, straight cream I blow dried it um, and I went about styling it and this is the result um, I would have to say my favorite strainer even though nobody asked but I will share it would be Paul Mitchell I've used Chi I've used like I said Paul Mitchell I've also used those brands from the kiosks that they sell like at the mall and I think the name of that is like Jose or PYT and um, the only downfalls of Chi and PYT and Jose or whatever the name is is that you cannot adjust the heat and I believe the internal heat setting is 400 could be wrong but it's pretty damn high which it leaves your hair really straight and it gives you that oh I'm satisfied but you are just further damaging your hair. I mean, you're damaging it anyway from blow drying and straightening it, but it's 400 degrees straight on your hair and you're not able to turn that up or turn it down um, according to your hair type. So like, I know like when I'm just having a bad day, I, I like kill my hair and bump it up to 400, but say like um, how I did it last night with the wash, typical wash and then the cream, I set it to like three something. It didn't even need to be that high and it got this straight. So that was cool. Oh, I also do it high when I'm doing bigger chunks of hair. Um, so I do 400 when I do like bigger chunks and straightening through. So I can just be done like that. Um, so yeah, and that's, there was something else I wanted to say. I don't know, but that's the tips. Um, I, oh, another tip is that if you don't already have it for people that straighten their hair, you should sleep 
on a satin pillowcase. Satin pillowcases um, don't damage your, or what is it? I don't want to say don't damage your hair, but after you just damage the hell out of your hair, it's um, safe for you, it's better for you to sleep on a satin pillow versus a regular cotton pillow like this. Because this prevents your hair from breaking even further when you sleep and you toss and turn. So, there's that. Um, also, um, some people like to wrap up their hair in satin wraps. And that is a must. Um, if you want to keep your hair straight without having to, like, straighten it, like, every day. Like, with me, I can just sleep on my satin pillow, wake up, and it doesn't, you know get frizzy or whatever it stays like this but for some they have to wrap their hair up so like before my hairdresser when I did it my hairdresser said to take two parts wrap it around I mean this is a messy wrap it around like that bobby pin it and then um go ahead with the wrap um I used to do that I stopped doing it so either way either do the satin wrap or the satin pillowcase to help um, prevent your hair from breaking when you sleep and yes I think is that all the tips I have for now I think so yeah I think that's all the tips I have I'd like to make a shout out to two girls that have subscribed to my page thus bringing me to a total of four subscribers very sweet girls so um, please forgive me if I butcher the names but the first name or the first subscriber the first person that to me that wasn't my cousin <laughs> is Wynetta Roundtree 27 her name is Wynetta very sweet lady um, she commented on my videos with the cell phone cases wanting to inquire more um, Wynetta if you're watching this I am so sorry that I did not reply to your comments fast or sooner um, I actually did not know that you had commented on it until one day I just stumbled upon it and I was just like oh I have comments on my video videos so thank you so much for um subscribing commenting viewing and for that lovely shout out that you gave to me in your video and yes and the second subscriber i have is angel sheree one she is another um subscriber i gained through wynetta and um she also made a review video of me bling bling so I, it's safe to say that all three of us ladies have made review videos for me or about me bling bling and another thing that we have in common we have a lot of things in common actually review videos of me bling bling um the three of us are really big hello kitty fans and the three of us are kind of new to this youtube vlogging thing and we're all interested in reviewing products or you know just doing whatever on YouTube so yeah I think this is meant to be ladies I don't know but thank you guys so much for subscribing aloha kako mahalo so that's uh, my little Hawaiian thing <laughs> but yes thank you again and I look forward to watching more of your ladies videos but yes so this will do it from my um, hair tutorial thing I will brainstorm what the next video will be about we'll see but yeah all right well see you guys in the next video bye hey fill up in the clouds on that sunday sunset you taught me how took a drive up the mountain yeah but we could look out on our own